forecast with Jesse Gunkel. Welcome back. Well, as we head into tomorrow, still a little bit of a chilly start. Our temperatures this evening as the sun sets are going to fall pretty quickly down into the mid 40s by sunrise, but bouncing back nicely. We're talking mid 70s throughout the afternoon, and that's pretty average for this time of the year. Even as we head into tomorrow night, a little bit warmer out there, and that's going to be the overall progress as we continue to move forward. But this is the big number. We started out at 38 degrees. It was cold and crisp out there this morning. 74 is where we eventually got to this afternoon. You can see not too far from where we are this time of the year. That's the average mark at this point. We're going to get back to about 75, 76 tomorrow afternoon. And then we're going to continue that upward trend. By the time we roll into the weekend, Highs, unfortunately, return back into the low, maybe even mid-80s heading into early next week. Now, we do have the opportunity for a shower on Saturday, but otherwise, a pretty dry start to November. Not much going on ahead of us. And Ada made landfall as a major hurricane, a Category 4, early this afternoon with winds at 140 miles per hour. A very catastrophic storm right now for Nicaragua. So here's the deal. Right now, you can see all that cooler air pushing towards the east, a nice little sleeve of warm. Air across the nation's midge section. And again, that's really what's going to be on our doorstep in the coming days. A lot of that warmer air is going to slowly drift over us as we move forward. You see, it's 68 outside. The sun has set. Feels like 68. Winds out of the east, northeast. But again, those temperatures, they're going to fall pretty quickly this evening down into the mid 40s outside. At least the winds are going to be on the light side. We've got this very large ridge, but it's going to continue to walk eastbound, which means those winds return back off the Gulf of Mexico in the coming days. That's why we get a little bit warmer, and we actually may even get a little bit humid heading into the weekend as our dew points are going to slowly begin to rise. But luckily for us, future cast not showing much in the way of cloud cover until possibly Saturday. That's when we could see a coastal shower out there. I'm going to give it about 20%, but otherwise, mostly sunny skies come Sunday, Monday, and then waiting on Tuesday going into Wednesday. I think that's our next major cold front, and that's when those temperatures once again plunge towards the end of next week. But as you see here, estimates again, not expected to see much. Maybe a little bit south of New Orleans, rainfall wise, but this is the big story. Category 4 out there with winds at 140 miles per hour, landfall heading west now at 5 miles per hour. Now, this is the deal. We're talking catastrophic rainfall. We're talking astronomical amounts, up to 30 plus inches in some locations, but it quickly weakens down to a category one before it moves through Honduras and the rest of Central America. But notice what happens with this system as it floats back out into the Caribbean. Once again, gains some strength, tropical storm, and potentially this could be heading towards the Straits of Florida maybe even moving back into the Gulf of Mexico. Again, the models right now, uncertainty is still very high. At un or again, the uncertainty is very high at this point. You can see some outliers here. There are some concerns that we could be seeing this going back towards the panhandle of Florida towards the end of next week. But again, a lot can happen. This system could actually even dissipate across Central America before floating back into the Caribbean. So the key here is it's not an immediate threat, but it's something to watch in the coming days. So stay vigilant. Tonight, 45 out there, clear skies by morning. Remember that we have partnered up with iHeartRadio Baton Rouge to get your weather on the go. And here is that seven day picture for you. We got 75 and sunny tomorrow, a couple clouds on Thursday, 77. We're talking upper 70s, even some 80s heading into the weekend with a stray shower on Saturday, but otherwise, a very warm trend until the end of next week.